good everybody it's the boy kd coming at you again with another video told y'all gonna try to get more content out to you on a regular basis i know it was a few days ago since i dropped the video but kind of wanted to give the last video a little time to circulate things of that nature as well as i wanted to give this video just a little more time in terms of research and things of that nature today i want to talk about another video in the y2 series this one is going to be why to play video games. Now I know a lot of you out there probably think playing video games is a waste of time. But me personally, as a gamer, I rather enjoy it. You probably look at all the bad reasons and why you shouldn't play video games. But me as a gamer, I don't see any. Most of us, we choose to play video games as a way to relieve stress or entertainment, if you will. Now, you got those that would like to agree that uh, video games are bad for you and cause so much harm to many people. Uh, look at people that has played Grand Theft Auto and then went out and committed a crime, saying that, oh, they were trying to be like Grand Theft Auto. Honestly and truthfully, something was wrong with those people from the very beginning. That's just my point of view. Because there's no way that you're going to play a video game and say, oh, you know what? Let me go out here and shoot 100 people in the head because I did it on Grand Theft Auto. I've never said that. And I've played Grand Theft Auto. I played Grand Theft Auto and actually went around Grand Theft Auto shooting a bunch of people just because I was bored. Like I said, it's a sense of entertainment as well as a stress reliever. Haven't you ever been at work and just you know, you had that one coworker, or maybe that one customer that you dealt with that you just wanted to shoot them in the face, punch them in the face, kick them in the face. I know I have. There have been plenty of days that I wanted to do that to people. And I would use video games as a platform, as a way to be able to do said thing. Now, no, I don't go out of my way and create that person on a video game just so I could, you know, get a little enjoyment out of doing it. But no, I go and I, if I play Call of Duty, I go and I shoot people saying, ah, I told you I was right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, large don't come with that. <laughs> you know, so yeah. You know, it's, it's just a medium for those that choose to, to provide entertainment and stress relief. I mean, and then, don't get me wrong, all video games aren't violent. You got video games like Animal Crossing, Minecraft, Sims, you know, just name a couple. Even Portal, which is a good game. Portal is a, it's a, kind of like a puzzle game where you and your robot companion, uh, well, not robot companion because you're both robots, actually. You go around with a portal gun and you use the portal gun to create portals to try to solve complex, you know, uh, uh, issues, you know, try to get to certain goals, if you will, you know, and that's a very fun game and it doesn't even involve you, you know, killing anybody or any kind of violence at all, in all honesty, you know, and Animal Crossing, you know. Hey, you know, you could want to do something where it's more like uh, you're doing various tasks. You know, Animal Crossing, you, you know, you live in a village uh, amongst anthropomorphic animals, you know, which, you know, it's very cutesy. You know, Nintendo made it. And, you know, you do different things. You fish, you know, you run errands for them. And it also based off, you know, uh, not based off of, but it actually has a real time if you will, real clock, if you will. So it actually has the seasons as well. So, you know, you actually feel like you're doing it. Um, you know, like it's you, you know, in this world, living this life, you know, just day to day. And Sims is somewhat of that, just more on the adult end of things, or maybe more realistic end of things, where, you know, you gotta, you know, you make your Sim, you know, you gotta get a job, you gotta, your house, you gotta, you know, find a lover, you know, and you gotta raise a family, and so on and so forth. And you do this throughout the game. 
Oh, sorry about that. There are plenty of games out there for you if you don't want to play a violent video game. And trust me, there's loads of non-violent video games out there. But, you know, let's say you don't want to play those games either. Let's say you're into sports. Well, you know there's sports games out there. How many of you, you know, know somebody that plays NBA 2K or Madden? or FIFA. Those sports games, yeah, football might be a bit violent if you, you know, just view football as violent, but basketball ain't violent. Soccer isn't violent. And uh, hockey, they do get to fighting on the game. So, you know, if you get your NHL, you know, you might get to boxing on there. But again, it's not for the violence. It's simply for the sport. My point is this, you play these games just for entertainment, just to relieve stress, you know, and there isn't anything holding anyone back from doing it. Research has shown that majority of people that actually play video games are less stressful than those that don't. I mean, it's the facts. I mean, I can provide a link if you want in which I probably will provide a link down in the description below to an article that states that, you know, that you know shows all the studies and everything of that nature in regards to it. But another reason why you should actually play video games, you know, on the more entertainment side of things is it allows you, just like anime, to take you away from reality for a bit, if you will. You know, and let's... You know, how many of you daydream? Everybody daydream. Everybody daydream about something, wanting to do something in their life. You know, whether it's, you know, oh, I wish I could, you know, live my dreams and, you know, be a famous actor or something of that nature. Well, like I said, you got Sims. Sims has pretty much all the careers that's in the real world that your Sim could go out and do. And, you know, it's you. You know, you're living the life that you want to live. You have control over what you think should happen. All the actions and things of that nature. Even down to the point of using the bathroom. Seriously. Seriously. If you never played Sims and never heard about Sims, check it out. It's, it's a good game. And it's definitely something that, you know, you can pass time with because... You know, all you're doing is living life, you know, in, in another world, if you will. Now, but for me personally, I play video games for entertainment purposes, as well as relieving stress, but more so for entertainment. It'd be plenty of times when I'm bored and I just jump on a game, and that is the perfect time to play games. Those of us that are gamers, they can tell you, ask any of your gamer friends, that's the perfect time to actually get on a video game and handle some of the tedious things that you wouldn't normally want to handle because, you know, you're trying to knock everything else out of the way. You know, I do plenty of side quests. Like right now, right now, I'm playing one of my favorite games, Skyrim. And what I'm doing is I'm going around doing all of the quests that I normally wouldn't do in a playthrough. Because normally when I make a new playthrough, I'm just testing out new mods and stuff of that nature. But, you know, I'm going around and I'm doing things that I don't normally do. Like right now, I'm actually just beginning the Dark Brotherhood uh, quest line. Uh, for those of those you that actually have played Skyrim, you know what I'm talking about. And I'm trying to, you know, put a certain twist on it, you know, in terms of, you know, I'm acting as, as if the character, I'm living through the character that I'm playing as. And, you know, trying to think of ways to do all of the stuff that the Dark Brotherhood is asking me to do, in which is killing people. But again, again, video games aren't designed for you to go out in the real world and kill people. Now, true, yes, you got simulators that, you know, the military use and, you know, stuff of that nature. But, you know, those are just simulations. They actually put you in, you know, the environment itself, if you will. Like, it's not the actual environment, but like a flight simulator. You know, they put you in this room or, you know, in this, you know, cockpit and it simulates you actually flying. You know, pilots use it, you know, when they train them to fly airplanes, you know. So, yeah, you know, and 
you got uh, situation trainings, you know, used by the military, you know, where you might actually have a few dummies set up here and here and here, you know, that might pop out up on you and stuff. You know, like, uh, kind of like how it was like in Man in Black. If you haven't seen Men in Black, go watch it, a good movie. Not talking about the remake that's coming out sometime or another, because of course it ain't out yet. I'm talking about the original Men in Black with Will Smith. And, you know, if, if you can remember the scene when um, it was Will and a bunch of, you know, military guys and, you know, they was doing the obstacle course, you know, to see, you know, who should be shot and who shouldn't be shot. You know, it's kind of like that. You know, they actually have uh, things set up like that for you. That's training to go and do things like kill. And even then, it's not on the bad spectrum of things. It's actually on the, you know, defense purpose of things. So, yeah, you still can't look at video games as, oh, they're horrible because they show people that it's okay to go kill. No, it doesn't. Not one time have I ever ever been playing Gears of War and said, you know what? I think I'm going to go out to the garage and pick up my lance and go out and shoot a bunch of locusts. No. Because one, locusts aren't real. Okay? So let's say you want to say Call of Duty. Well, you know, uh, that's going back in time for the most part. And even if you wanted to use modern warfare, well, you know, that's me being in the military. And I was there once. Didn't work out too well. So yeah, no. It's, it definitely doesn't make me go and say, I want to sign up for the military. I definitely tell you that much. Um, and again, like, like say Grand Theft Auto or, uh, Saints Row, something like that there. No, no, not one time have I ever thought to myself, you know, Hey, let me go steal this car and, you know, shoot this old lady that's walking across the street because she won't move out of the way. Or, you know, let me hit her with my car. Or let me drive and run over all the light poles. You know, like I said, video games aren't bad. And I know over the years, you know, a couple of them have gotten a bad reputation. But you got to think about it. Anything that exists in life has pretty much had a bad reputation on some end of the spectrum. You know, and I'm not even going to touch all of the things that do this because... Again, that's strictly your opinion. And again, this is more so of a opinionated video with me sharing with you, with you the viewer, um, why I believe that you know you should get into video games at least give it a try. And there are plenty of reasons why you should, outside of just the fact that you know for entertainment or a stress reliever. Again, it also helps with your mental. A lot of gamers are intelligent because, again, you have these puzzle games where you got to solve these, 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 you know, complex issues, you know, to advance in the game, you know. So, uh, yeah, and even in games like Gears of War or Call of Duty or anything of that nature, even Grand Theft Auto, you still got to think of a way to do this stuff, even if there is only one cut path. You know, the video game doesn't necessarily give you that path. You know, it doesn't necessarily say, well, hey, look, this is the way that you do it. Um, and another game that I'm fond of is Pokemon, as you see, hanging up on the wall back there. Uh, I've been playing Pokemon for years. Uh, I want to say since I was probably about 12, 13, uh, my cousin introduced me to it. And ever since then, I've been playing it. Uh... I don't have the current uh, newest Pokemon game right now. That's because I don't have a Switch, unfortunately. Eventually, I'll get one, and you know, I probably buy. It. Hopefully, I'm hoping I get a Switch before the actual, you know, Gen Eight uh, come out. You know, that's what I'm hoping for. You know, because I can't say that I was really excited for Let's Go, but Let's Go, you know, uh, taking after the mobile game Pokemon Go which is another video game that I know people play. Now, even if you don't sit down in front of a TV and turn on a console, I'm pretty sure you've played a mobile game. And if you haven't, you definitely should. Because I know there's times when you're out in the world, doctor's appointments, uh, you know, meetings, you know, even at work, you know, if you have a bit of downtime, you can play a video game from your phone. 
You know, they have plenty of puzzle games on your phone. Uh, Angry Birds. Uh, what's another one that people play on their phone a lot? Um, uh, let's see, Candy Crush. That's another game. You know, and you also you have Sims, you have Call of Duty, you have Madden, you have NBA. You can play all those games on your phone as well. I Me mean, personally, I play Brave Frontier, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, uh, a couple of One Piece mobile games. You know, so there's there's plenty of ways to play video games without sitting in front of a TV. You know, you can just be out in the world. And the thing about mobile games is mobile games uh, strict you more to, you know, certain things. You know, it has daily tasks and weekly tasks and some, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, not saying the console games don't have this, but mobile games follow this guideline even more because it's only so, you know, so much time that you can spend into it. It, it actually makes sure that you aren't on the mobile game all day long. You know, it, it actually... You know, says, okay, well, we're going to give you uh, five hearts and, you know, uh, using those five hearts, you know, uh, this is how many times you can do this. And the hearts refill, you know, over 30 minutes to an hour, you know, each. So, you know, yeah, you know, you're not on it all day long, but you can go back and check. And it even sends updates, you know, into, oh, well, this is ready to be dead now or, well, your, you know, your heart bar is filled now, so now you can, you know, jump back into the game. Um, you know, and I just recently downloaded the Harry Potter game on there, and, you know, I'm enjoying it as well. And, you know, it actually follows more of a story, like a, a traditional video game, if you will. And, um, you know, but it, it, still, it still limits you into how much you can actually do. Now, if you want to go all out and, you know, spend a whole bunch of money, because trust me, I got a sister who was addicted to Candy Crush. I don't know. She might still be addicted to Candy Crush. But I know that she she would pay money, actual money, to play Candy Crush. You know, uh, I remember one time we was going on a trip. We were going to see my son, and she was in the back seat, and she was playing Candy Crush. And she was like, hand me my purse so I can get my card out here so I can buy me some more uh, energy or, or something. It was something that she needed. And I was like, are you seriously investing into that game like that? So yeah, you know, there's people that do that. You know, I can't lie. You know, I've spent some money on some mobile games too. You know, I got Pokemon Quest, you know, and I, I spent some money on there, you know, for the, uh, the expansions on, on that game. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to act like I haven't spent money, but typically if I spend money is, for a good reason, you know, it's not just because I'm addicted to the game, it's because I got the money and I really want this and it's going to be something that's going to be useful throughout the entire game, not just maybe for a few times, you know, because, you know, don't get me wrong, they got those where, you know, hey, you know, you can buy, you know, 10 things that will help you with this particular problem for $25, no, I'm I'm not going to pay $25 for 10 things that's going to help me with a certain issue that once I get past this certain area, I might not even run into again for a while. I mean, yeah, it's good to have, but at the same time, what if I'm stuck? What if I use it and I then I need to use it again in the same area and then now I'm out? Because in most cases, that's what they do. And in all honesty, I can't fault you know, mobile game uh, creators for doing it that way because you got to make money some kind of way because most mobile games are free. Yeah, free. So if you ever been against video games because you ain't had the money, well, mobile games are free. They're free to play. They're free to download. The only thing that you're paying for is if you just want to buy into the stuff that they have for you to buy. Again, I would recommend at least doing it once, you know, spending no more than maybe five, ten dollars, you know, just to support the people that allow you to enjoy a game, you know, for free for the most part. And in which they have those kind of games on consoles as well, where you have free to play games. You download it and you can grind your way through it. Uh, one of the games is called, I want to say DC Universe Online. Uh, I played it a few years ago, uh, back when it first, first came out. 
So I would imagine that it has changed significantly since then because it is still active, you know, on um, uh, Microsoft servers and, and uh, Sony servers with PlayStation um, as a free game. So yeah, and I've actually, my son, he's actually downloaded it before. I'm not sure if he still has it. I can't even say whether he got into it fully or not, but I know he had it because I, I was going through his console making sure everything was, you know, set up straight. Um, but yeah, it's a free to play game where you grind. Cause I remember when I was playing, you know, I was grinding, I was grinding, I was grinding. And then it got to a point where, um, I wasn't playing the game as much. And so I actually got out of it. And then, you know, I went back and some, you know, some stuff had changed in and I was like, ah, I'm good. Cause I, I liked it more where I was at and, um, stuff of that nature. Uh, you also have computer games, you know, most people, have a computer. You have a laptop, a, a home PC, something of that nature where you can play games on them as well. So you already have that. You already spend the money on that. Only thing you need to do is get you a game. And with Steam, uh, heck, even, you know, Walmart, Best Buy, you know, you can go and you can buy a PC game, you know, for, you know, not as expensive as an actual console game. You know, you might get that game for like $20, $30. So yeah, and again, I'm all for supporting, you know, the developers and stuff that these companies that make these games because, uh, you know, at one point I was pursuing making video games, so, you know, I was hoping to make money, but there's ways beyond that to even not spend money on big games. Let's say you're a fan of all the older games, you know, let's say you play, you know, on the Atari, Nintendo, Sega, Super Nintendo. Well, they have emulators. And if you have a PC, laptop, whatever, you can go download an emulator, go download a ROM or ISO, and you can play these games on your computer for free. So again, money shouldn't be a reason why you're not playing video games. And, and in all honesty, again, going back to the phone, I can't pick up my phone because I'm actually using my phone to record this video, but they have emulators for your phone as well. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, so you can play these games on the go. And PSP, Nintendo DS. You can mod these systems. Soft mod is what they call to where you can play most games on the go. All you know, older games, you know, Sega and stuff of that nature. I have a PSP that I use for that purpose. Uh, I don't use my 3DS for that purpose because I strictly use it for playing Pokemon. But, and you know, I have a, I have a Nintendo Wii uh, down here uh, that I got when I first got out of the military. And, you know, I use it soft modded. And I have pretty much, I, I'm not going to say every game system that ever came out, but the the majority of the game systems that I played growing up, I have, you know, an emulator for on my Wii. So whenever I get ready, you know, I'm feeling nostalgic and I want to go and I want to play a game, I just jump right on the Wii, okay? Um, and then let's say that, the you know, the game is beyond the Wii's capacity because, you know, you do have those games that are, you know, beyond the capacity of, you know, whatever it is, whatever you are using. You know, cause even a PC, you know, they got emulators for it, but you need a powerful PC to play, you know, on those emulators. Uh, but, you know, I got a PlayStation 3. Um, I got a, I got an Xbox 360. I got an Xbox One. No, I do not have a PlayStation 4. And, I, and like I said earlier, I do not have the Switch. Um, but I do have ways of playing video games. My friends, they have these consoles. So if I'm ever feeling like, oh, well, you know, I want to go play God of War. I just go over to one of my homies' house and it's like, hey, let me jump on that God of War. Let me jump on that Spider-Man. Uh, I have friends that have a Switch. Hey, you know, can I come over to your house? And, you know, because uh, the, the beautiful thing about the video game consoles is you can make multiple profiles on them, just like on your laptop. You have profiles on it to where it's not affecting your gameplay. Now, how many times, if you if you have if you are a gamer or you ever played a video game, and you got mad at somebody because they went and played the game, and they messed up your save. 
I remember on the GameCube, uh, you didn't have profiles like that. I mean, some games you could, you know, create a new a, a new game save just, you know, for you, and then you have one for your friend and one for your your mama and your auntie and your, and your dog, you know. But uh, you know, not a lot of games had that. So me and my friends, you know, we would, you know, share game saves. I remember it was a Dragon Ball Z game. I want to say it was Dragon Ball Z Saga or some of that nature. And uh, we all, we shared that save. And uh, me and Sean, <clears throat> me and my friend Sean, we're the ones who, who put the money in on the game. And I was upset when our other friend, my cousin Sean, Yes, I'm a friend with two Shans. <laughs> uh, he beat the game. Yeah, he, he beat the game, and we at work, you know, we, we get back to the house, you know, and you're like, yeah, I done beat it. We weren't even around to see you beat it. We, so, you know, like, it's frustrating. But now with consoles today, everybody has a profile. Your, your next door neighbor can have a profile on your system. Your friend many states away can have a profile on your system. It's just all up to you who all you want to have a profile on your system. And again, it doesn't mess up your gameplay. That's the beautiful thing about it. So, you know, even if you got a a friend that has a game system and you don't, say, hey, would it be okay if I made a profile and play, you know, uh, introduce me to a game that you think that I would like that, they, you know, they might have. And if they don't have it, you can always go to GameStop. You know, you can always use Google or Bing. Those are your best friends these days. Everybody got access to it in the palm of their hands. Okay, so don't act like you can't access it to research games that you might like. You got to think about what you are into. And just like I said in the last video, there's different genres to it. And I've already listed some with sports and, and puzzle games and, you know, just lifestyle games. You know, you, you have plethora of games out here that you can play. Me personally... One of my favorite games, uh, genres, is action adventure. You know, role-playing games, RPGs, such of that nature. And my most favorite game of all time is Tales of Symphony. I love Lloyd. I love Colette. I love Emil. I... And, oh my God, Sheena, that's Bay right there. But that game for me, you know, playing RPGs, uh, special Tales of Symphony, Hours of good time. And yeah, you're following, in most cases, you're following the same story all the time. But the beautiful thing about RPG is RPGs typically have side quests. And for most gamers, you don't really do all the side quests. So there's always something to go back and do in those games. Even if you just turn on an old save, hey, you know, I beat the game. Oh, yeah, I beat the game and now I unlocked you know, New Game Plus or, you know, I unlock a uh, legendary mode, some of that nature. It's always something there for you to go back to. Always something for you to go back and do with an RPG, okay? Uh, and with current consoles, you have achievements or trophies that you can unlock playing video games. So that's something that you can go back and play a video game for. Again, something to do for entertainment purposes a stress reliever, as well as just something to pass time, even if you're not wanting to be entertained. You can just use the pass time because they even have, how I many of you had a grandmother or a mother that used to buy puzzle books? Well, on your phone. You can go download a, a crossword puzzle on your phone. So you ain't even got to go waste that dollar no more in, in the dollar store or wherever, you know, to get you a nice crossword puzzle. You can just download it on your phone. But, you know, hey, again, this is just all my opinion on why people should get into video games. And I can't necessarily say that I did a great job of explaining it, but I feel like this. If you just give video games a try, you know, and don't just go play the video game that your friend got or the one that's most popular with everybody, because those games may not be for you. You got to think about it. Everything is not for everybody. You know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is very popular right now, and the only reason that I want to get it is because it's popular and just to see what it's about, but I seriously doubt that it's for me because to me it seemed like 
Grand Theft Auto Wild Wild West style. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But hey, if you're playing it, more power to you, you know? You're gaming. And I love it. And don't get me wrong, if you're not if you're not a gamer and you're not gaming, don't. I love you too. Okay, I love everybody. I love the world. But hey. And I made this video long enough trying to get into why you should go out here and do it. Just do it. As Nike says, just do it. Find you something that you will enjoy. And if you have any questions, hey, you feel free to ask me. You know, let's say you do have a PC and you like, okay, you know, I have played the Nintendo and I, you know, I want to play Super Mario Brothers. You know, if you need help getting to an emulator, again, if you have trouble navigating Google or Bing, hey, just ask and I will, you know, I'll hook you up with, you know, a website that can help you out in terms of that. You know, I ain't going to post a link to those in the description. Because, you know, hey, the thing about the emulators is, you know, technically they're illegal. Just saying. But, you know, if you need help with it, you know, just hit me up and I'll help you out. Okay? It's good. Uh, oh, yeah. Before I forget, I'm going to try to get out. Whenever the next One Piece chapter come out, I'm going to try to get a review for it. It should be chapter 930. I'm going to try to start doing them from now on. I know in my last review videos, I was garbage. <laughs> okay, I, I sucked at it. And I'm not saying that I'm any better now, but I will say that, you know, I feel a little more confidence in doing what I'm doing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to get out a review for that. Not try. I will get out a review for it. Like I said, I got to do this for y'all as well myself because, like I said, I'm the one who chose to do YouTube. Y'all didn't say, hey, go do YouTube. So, I got to do this stuff for y'all. But again, like, subscribe, and share. You know, get the word out there for you, boy. See you in the next video. Peace.